war on women, but we are not the ones waging the war. And what happens, this is verbal engineering. And so I get to see, I have the privilege on a daily basis, being the director of a pregnancy medical center, to see the wreckage of humanity that walks in my door because they have bit the apple. They have believed the lie that this government, that all the politics, and that even some churches tell them that it's okay to go use contraceptions. It's okay to use abortion as a backup birth control. And then we get to see how they're suffering emotionally, psychologically, physically, spiritually, and to love them back. I can tell you stories you would not believe. This is a bad week for one of my clients. She went with one guy, now she was married. She went with one guy on Thursday, woke up Friday morning, took the morning after pill. Went with another guy on Friday, woke up Saturday morning, took the morning after pill. Went with another guy the following night, and then took herself to her Tuscaloosa abortion clinic because she wanted to make sure she wasn't pregnant. This is war on women. We are telling them, and it's available, and so they can go to the pharmacy and get it. This is the war on women. We're not loving them, but we as the church militant, you and me from coast to coast, get to say, come here, come and get healed, come and get loved. We're gonna tell you the truth. We're gonna repair the brokenness inside of you. There is a war on women, but we're not waging it. It's coming from the pit of hell like it did in the book of Genesis when he told the women when she bit the apple, he said, you will not die. It's the same lie. It's the same war. And it's not just on women, it's on humanity. It's on every aborted baby boy and baby girl and every woman and every man that has impregnated her.